2023 is winding to a close and neither Cambridge nor Exeter have set the division alight this year. The travelling side are teetering on the edge of the League One drop zone while their hosts entered this last match before Christmas. Just five points and four places better off. And beaten in three now though, Cambridge wins over Fleetwood and Blackpool in the last two here. And a late comeback draw at Charlton. Exeter, an unfortunate run of four games without a win. That's what takes them into this one. Dropping that towards the path of Ryan Trevitt, but too many gold shirts around. Is the mistake maybe the sage option there to go back to Stevens? Hadney was in the drop zone, but open to it. Might be a chance on the end of it. Rank it, and he's got pace here. The unrank it. Wants the save out of Stevens, and there's mopping up to be done still. Well, they avoid the corner. Could have been worse. Rankin coming at pace, got the goalkeeper down low to make the save as well. Well, it is the start of the Neil Harris era. Not been a sack at the end of last month. And in the draw. Well, that's going to be a free kick, and there's a little doubt about that. Pinned right in the corner, and he invited the contact, Sully Kaika. Well, whipped in the flick on is there as well. Where's it going to fall? Man on the edge, fired in. Well, the shots for a penalty here, and it's been given. I think it's for handball against Alex Hartridge. Darren Drysdale, well, he's looking into a sea of shirts of different colours. That was the initial ball. Trying to get a shot away. Ocadina in the penalty area fell to the edge, and the centre half in the way with the wrong part of the body. It's going to be Gasan had me. Scores from the spot. Ducks it away. And Cambridge have the lead at the Abbey. There will be discussion from those in support of the travelling side, but the salient fact is that Gessner had me. He's open the scoring and he's done it for the use. And the lights and the festive cheer is coming from the home end at the moment. Launched ball in, and he's met by a defensive head out of Kite. It's going to ping around like pinball, and oh, brilliant save on the stretch from Sinisalo. Kaiko with the shot. Lucky protested. Oh, it's well worth an effort from that. Was clear for the moment, but Hadme is coming forward with a vengeance. Already got the taste for goals. Now Brophy. This is spread nicely. And in the overlap is Andrew, cuts it back well. And again, Sinisalo is called into action. And the inquest begins at the back for Exeter City. It's a heavily hit ball in. And the men at the back post as well. Heads go up. Hartridge couldn't get it away. Might be a second bite of the cherry. Oh, well, somebody had to do it. And it is clear, but not in the way that Exeter would have wanted. The ball that caused all kinds of problems for the Grecians. Lucadina attacking it. They had me too. Maybe a case of too many cooks. Not the best delivery. But a second bite of the cherry is on. And that's a much better ball in. And again, Sinisalo is there. Thomas, cries of shoot. He's going to look elsewhere. Cousins getting it under control. Waiting for this ball to come in, and still it hasn't been cleared. Just needed somebody to put a boot through it. Not the cleanest of deliveries. Easily met by the head of Kite, but nobody was stopping this one but the goalkeeper. It's a dangerous tactic at times, playing out from the back if you don't get it right, but Sinisalo's got enough air on that. Maybe enough to cause a problem down the other end. 
Stevens to return it with interest. The flick on is a good one. And already Cambridge are on the attack. Brophy. Sinisalo there again. He's been the saviour on a couple of occasions. I might say straight at him. Others might say didn't have much time to react. Small victories will have to do in midfield for now for Exeter. Looking for the ball in, and that is proving tricky. Quick one twos. Carroll in there. Flick forward. And it's been a quiet one for Jack Stevens so far. Now he is called upon. Lovely dink over the top from Cole. Cox was there to chase it. Goalkeeper had to be strong. direct and that might work here because Sonny Cox has got it he's been muscled off the ball and Jibrilo Kadena they have to feel they're getting closer here Exeter it remains a one point ball game plenty of options waiting on the edge and oh that wasn't a bad effort either Reese Cole with the shot again Stevens is equal to it Cambridge have needed their goalkeeper more and more. Is this one to one up? Diabate. Deepest lying, grey shirt with a job to do here. Sweeney. Taking their time over it. Time on their side though. Oh, they're stuck for an option here. In doubt. Put your foot through it and it seemed it might have worked, but recycled again by the hosts. And now they're breaking forward in numbers. Thomas splaying it out to the right. This might be the chance off the line. Kachunga won't miss from there. Well, the hard work was done by Lancaster, but Elias Kachunga crowns off the move. Double delight for Cambridge United. That may well be the goal that seals three points for them. Lancaster turning Hartridge inside out. Off the line, the initial attempt, Kachunga poaching well. And there was no doubt there, was that? It's a hands on your head moment for Exeter City. Well, they've had plenty of chances, the Grecians. It's been allowed to bounce and it is eventually controlled, but it needs to start going forward. Could this be the opportunity? What's going to act as the catalyst for Exeter City? 15 defeats already this season. Is there to be another one here? Sweetly hits. Stevens was there. And the follow-up. Not clinical enough. Goalkeeper getting down low. Pierce Sweeney unable to convert from close range. There was some whip on the free kick. Centre half got there and really fluffed his lines in the end. Driving run forward. Can anything save Exeter now? Vilcic's gone down. Okadino is the aggressor. And there's more fee for Elias Kachunga, who's pulled up. At a critical stage in the game. Stoppages looking to interrupt the flow. At the moment, this is flowing Cambridge's way. And that's how it will end. Neil Harris's early reign continues with another positive result. Another defeat to add to the tally for Exeter. And they will be growing wary of their neighbours down the bottom end of the table this Christmas time. Victory. After Kachunga's goal sealed it, and the Abbey will be in full voice this Christmas time. <laughs>